my channel so today it feels like okay that I literally went into Weasley Wizard Weezers and picked up a joke item from their store although we know that isn't true it was the works that I went to I don't know if it's just the UK that has this amazing shop called the works but they do have a Harry Potter range at the minute and I bought a Harry Potter it's an uh, Weasling Weasingly woo, Weasingly witty joke book um, it's unofficial. Let me take this sticker off. It says RRP £9.99. I bought it for £3 as you can see right there. Right, I've took the sticker off anyway. The unofficial Harry Potter Weasingly Witty Joke Book. I'm excited guys. We all know I love a good joke. So I thought, Do you know what, I'm going to get this and we're going to have a look at this together. Let's see how funny this is. So it says... Whether you're a witch, wizard, potterhead or a muggle, you won't be able to resist this brand new collection of Zanny, Zanny Harry Potter zingers. Like it. These jokes are so fresh they'd even cheer up a Dementor. I'm really excited. What noise did Pidwidgeon make when Ron trod on him? A little owl. <laughs> get it? A, a little, howl, little owl. I get it. These Hogwarts howlers will make you laugh so hard that butterbeer will spurt out of your nose. Challenge accepted. What's brown, sticky and falls from the sky? The orgy of the phoenix. <laughs> oh God. What did Voldemort say when he lost his nose? Where's my nose? The, the best ones will be in here, right? Only the most magical mirth has been selected for this definitive collection of wizarding wisecracks that is more giggle-worthy than a tickling charm. Well, I'm going to be the judge of that because those, I don't know, I don't know, we'll see. Should, should we just get into, we're going to get right into this, but before we do, uh, if this is the first time you've seen my face, hello and welcome to my channel. If you love anything to do with Harry Potter, then this is the place for you. Join the magic and mayhem, hit subscribe, because I'd love to have you. A massive thank you to these guys. These guys are my Patreons. They help me keep this channel running just that little bit more. If you'd like to know anything about Patreon, it's linked in the description of this video, along with my social medias. Go see what I'm up to on those. Okay, so this is what it looks like inside. We've got a little thing there, Weasingly Witty Joke Book. So there's a bit of information there if you want to pause it and read it. There you go. Let's do this. Okay, we've got an introduction. What are you laughing at? What's so funny? This book, that's what. Again, I will be the judge of that. Anyway, so yeah, there's, there's a bit in there. Again, if you want to pause it and read it, feel free to. I think I held it there for long enough. Zangy Zingers. Harry Potter's Weasley Witty Joke Book. Okay, here we go. Right. Why do Quidditch players ride broomsticks? Because vacuum cleaners can't fly. That was joke one. Do they, they get better as we go on, yeah? Okay, the next one we was on the back. What noise did Pidwidgeon make when Ron Weasley crawled on him? A little owl. Okay, so we've, we've said. Right, the, okay. Sybil Trelawney. I've just left my job. I couldn't work for that Umbridge woman after the way she spoke to me. McGonagall. What did she say to you? Trelawney, you're fired. Am I missing something? Okay, okay. Why do mountain trolls have TGIF written on their shoes? Toes go in first. Okay, because they're quite, yeah, they're not, they're not the brightest sparks, are they? But still, I no, no. Severus Snape, what do you want to be when you grow up? Ron Weasley. I'd like to be a secret agent. Severus Snape, based on what you've just told me, I think you'd be terrible. No, no. Okay, knock, knock. Who's there? Ginny. Ginny who? Ginny helping, op help opening the door. Ginny help opening the door. Ginny help opening the door. Ginny need help! Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, let me, knock knock, who's there? Ginny, Ginny who? Ginny help opening the door. It's a question with a question mark. So it's Ginny help opening the door, but Ginny help, that's rubbish. Who made this? I hope it's not a load of kids that have, I'm sorry if it is. 
Why do horcruxes smell of fish? They contain a bit of soul. They contain a bit of soul. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'll take that one. Okay. What do you call Hedwig in a suit of armour? A night owl. It's not brilliant, no. Okay, Severus Snape. Do you have any books on paranoia in the library? Irma, Irma Pince. Don't look now, but they're right behind you. How do you locate a half-giant wizard on the Marauder's map? Use Hagrid reference. Did you hear about the mountain troll who appeared in the dock? When the judge said order in court, he asked for a burger, large fries and a milkshake. <laughs> Oh gosh, I don't know. They're like little giggles so far. They're not exactly like making me... I mean, what did it say? What are you laughing at? What's so funny? This book, that's what. Oh, I don't know. Knock, knock. Who's there? Ron. Ron who? Ron Dorr, sorry. Okay, that's not a bad one. It's just not my level of jokes, this. Did you hear about the boggart that turned into a German sausage? It was its observist worst fear. Worst. <laughs> Why was the Whomping Willow so sad? It had watched a sappy movie. <laughs> Why doesn't Nagini drink coffee? Because it makes her viper active. Why is a snitch small, light and golden? Because if it were big, heavy and black, it would be a bludger. That's not funny. These are just facts. The inventor of the invisibility cloak has just designed an invisible aeroplane. I can't see it taking off. <laughs> not bad, not bad. What do a goblin and a house elf have in common? <laughs> Very little. <laughs> Oh, that's just tickled me. Knock, knock. Who's there? Lee. Lee who? Lee, Lee Quidlock. Lee Quidlock. Lee Quidlock. <laughs> it's kind of some of these are that not funny that they're funny. Do you know what I mean? You just laugh because it's pathetic. Why didn't Voldemort go to the party? He had no body to go with. Knock, knock. Who's there? Phil. Phil who? Phil Ossifer Stone. <sighs> right, these are getting... Am I broken? Is this is what? Is this what's wrong? Am I broken? Am I broken? They're funny, but I'm broken. Arthur Weasley. Doctor, doctor, my son has swallowed my pen. What should I do? Doctor, use a quill until I get there. Severus Snape, the correct way to use a stress ball is to throw it at the last person to upset you. That's not a joke, that's just great advice, Snape. That is great advice. Why does Ron's why does Ron Weasley's car handle corners badly? Because it's a Ford Angular. This is just not my level of jokes, this. I don't know, I'm broken. How does a Death Eater start a letter? Tomb it may concern. Tomb. Tomb it may concern. <laughs> what is black and yellow and glides through the air? A dementor eating a banana. They're literally reaching. Mundungus Fletcher got caught stealing a lamp. He received a light sentence. <laughs> hey! That's a good one. Right, whoever thought of that one needed to think of jokes for the whole book. Please don't tell me a load of six-year-olds I did these jokes for this book. Don't say anything. What's green, silver, yellow, black and red? A Slytherin student being stung by a wasp. <sighs> I can't take this back. Why does Neville use so much toilet paper? Because he's a long bottom. What has one hand, two legs, and several green eyes? P 
Peter Pettigrew eating an old potato. Absolutely. How did Voldemort wear out so many pairs of shoes? He split his soul seven times. Soul. <laughs> Get it? S-O-L-E. Obviously soul is S-O-U-L, but soles of shoes. I was wondering why the bludger was getting bigger than it hit me. <laughs> What's the difference between a Hogwarts teacher and a train? The teacher says spit out that gum and a train says choo choo. Like it. What does the Moore's Mortar spell and a pungent fart have in common? They both leave dark marks floating in the air. There you go. Fart jokes now. This is just getting real, isn't it? Can't have a joke, but without a fart joke. What did the floating candle say to the sorting hat? You go on ahead, I'll hang around. I'm broken. I hope you guys are laughing at these, because I'm not. Well, some of them have got me. We've seen, but, you know. How did Draco Malfoy shoplift one of Madame Malkin's invisibility cloaks? He tried it on. Oh my god, this just gets worse. Knock, knock. Who's there? Albus. Albus who? Albus this door down if you don't open it. I like it. See? Now that's a joke, that. What did Harry Potter say when he stabbed Tom Riddle's diary? Fangs for the memory. Fangs for the memory. Fangs. Yeah. Which hand is better to perform spells with? Neither. It's better to use a wand. I like that one, I know. Okay, we're going to end on this one, guys. This is a, a bit of a story joke. I like things like this normally, but I've got a feeling this one's going to really disappoint me. I've just pulled my own hair. Harry Potter was put under a spell so that he could speak only one word each year. Then he fell in love with Ginny Weasley, so he decided not to speak for two whole years so he could call her darling Ginny. By then, his feelings for her had deepened, so he said nothing and then zipped it for another three years so that he could add the words, I love you. After five years of complete silence, he was desperate to propose, so again he said nothing and then waited for another four years. Finally, after nine years of silence, Harry took Ginny to the Three Broomsticks in for a, roman three broomsticks in for a romantic, albeit silent meal, and then just as the coffees arrived, he went down on one knee and said, Darn it, Darling Ginny, I love you. Will you marry me? And Ginny said... Pardon? <laughs> yes! <laughs> okay, I have just had a quick flick through this with you guys. Yeah, there was some questionable... What I don't know if you can actually call them jokes, um, but some of them have tickled me, and that last one actually didn't disappoint me. I like story jokes with a with a bit of a line at the end. Absolutely love them. Um, yeah, I actually <laughs> I don't know. I kind of recommend it. Like I said, I've only had a quick flick through, but there are. I mean, it's very well. That's with the story I've just read to you. I mean, I don't know. Let me show you some of it. It's got some nice pictures in and obviously with the jokes and that. What well, has four legs, four eyes, two beaks and can fly? A pair of owls. Yeah, I mean, the, you know, the pages look really nice in it as well. We've got some little pictures to go with it. Looks quite old worldy in some areas. It's nicely presented. That's what I'm trying to say. The front cover and back cover. It does look like you get something straight out of Weasley Wizard Weezers. And it is really cool. But yeah, some of these jokes are questionable as to whether you can call them jokes. But I've enjoyed reviewing this joke book with you guys today. If you have too, let me know in the comments. And if you can beat this book, if you can tell me a joke in the comments and just actually please make me laugh, then please feel free to write one in the comments and make us all laugh. But I'm going to go now. Thank you so much for joining me today, guys. Thank you for hanging out with me. Thank you for watching, as always. Thank you for your support. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye, Potter Poppets.